sunshines! So today I'm here to do a review of a product that has been helping me get picture perfect skin for the last few times I've cosplayed and a few times that I've actually filmed videos for you guys that you might not have realized. This product is the Denaire Airbrush System. I'm really excited to share this product with you guys because Denaire was so sweet and they sent me a wonderful package actually quite a few months back now and I've been playing with it and testing and learning and experimenting and it's been a lot of fun and now I finally am getting around to filming a demo of how to use the product and also a review to give you guys my thoughts. So let's go ahead and dive right in. So I wanted to leave some of this in so you can hear the shaking up of the makeup as well as the sound of the actual compressor itself because it is so quiet and I was so amazed at that, how quiet it was. And so I usually mix up the makeup in the pot a little bit with like a toothpick or a spatula or something and then I'll use it to test on my face just to see if I've got the color right. Um, sometimes I'm really close and sometimes I'm not so close so having a test is sometimes nice. <laughs> and then you will see me go in with the airbrush and I'm actually just going to apply this all over my face in sort of circular motions with a rocking motion on the trigger and this is the final result. One thing that I love about the Denaire airbrush system and their makeup is that the makeup is cruelty free and also water based. It's super light and your skin can actually breathe through it really well but you still get a flawless foundation. Like I said I've used it quite a few times that I've cosplayed so far and I've had great results. My makeup hasn't moved, it hasn't budged, but my skin has felt really free and not like I'm wearing a ton of makeup which is really cool. There's definitely Definitely a time and a place for silicone based airbrush makeup but I really enjoy this alternative and I love that they have the option to use a makeup that is water based instead. So let me just show you how this system works. So the airbrush system that Denaire sent me is this adorable black sparkly glitter color. My phone is really gross but just for some size reference. This is the size of the airbrush machine. So this is my phone. It's not a 6 Plus. It's a 6S. That's it. It's not a gigantic phone, right? And this is how big the airbrush is. So my phone is actually bigger in length than this airbrush. It is a little thick, you can see, but I love how portable this is. It comes with a rubber tube and you attach it at the end here and just kind of push it on and you will push it on to the um, actual nozzle as well. That's of course just how the air travels. It also came with a plug. The part that plugs into the airbrush plugs in on the bottom and it sits flush. So that's really nice. So this is the airbrush machine, like I said. So this dial here rotates and um, when it is at the bottom, it is at the lowest air pressure setting and the more you rotate it, the higher the air pressure that will come out of the machine is. To turn it on, you press and then you can, you can hear the airflow actually as you rotate and change it. I love that it has a little jewel that's just really cute as a little signifier of where your air pressure is. <laughs> they sent me a gigantic bag of goodies of things to use, like colors and things like that to use with my airbrush. This is the packaging that the nozzle comes in and it's really nice. It has a wonderful soft inside and here it is. So mine's been used a few times so it's a little bit, <laughs> you know, it's just been used. Um, all of these pieces come off so this part down here just protects the nozzle where the airflow goes. You could leave this little rubber thing on the actual trigger. I usually don't but you definitely can. And then this part is actually a cool piece so it protects obviously the front nozzle as well as the cup but when you're ready to clean the airbrush you'll just rinse out any excess makeup inside the cup with water, just kind of put it in, rinse it around and swish it out. But when you put this part back on, put a few drops of cleaner in there and you pinch the nozzle like this, it actually pushes and pulls air through the nozzle and cleans the airbrush, which is super awesome. Then you can take, oh, I guess I had some makeup still in there. Oops, I'll need to clean it again. But then you can take uh, this and just rinse it out with water, let it air dry uh, and a Q-tip and just kind of Q-tip out the front there. They actually recommend that when you're not using the airbrush, you keep the airbrush dipped in a cup of water to make sure that airbrush makeup doesn't cake up on the inside. Easy to clean though 
though because it is water soluble so um, I'm not too too concerned I haven't had a clog yet which is awesome and like I've said I've used it quite a few times so when I was picking out my shade range it actually shows you a bunch of different pictures of people who are in your skin tone range on the website so it's really easy to pick out your tone I got the fair range because after watching a couple of reviews I realized that the fair range is actually very wide stretching it goes from a color called alabaster to a color called vanilla and then you have olive beige and light golden beige so this is a range that I figured would keep me covered from winter to spring to summer when I'm more tan this color is very tan it might not look like it in the packaging but it is um, so very cute packaging as well a little goes a long way and just like with a nail polish you can hear that there are little shakers inside to help you shake them up before you use them and then there's a few things that I haven't opened yet like they sent me some shimmer so this is a jet black this was like eyeshadow makeup uh, eyebrow stuff champagne and peach beige so this is like a blush and like a highlighter and then there's some other stuff in here so there's like bliss light bronze and earthen so these are all like eyeshadow colors um, there's another one in here called blonde I I'm not sure what this I think maybe a blush as well or an eyeshadow and then there's a practice color with um, some of their moist and dewy additive sort of a thing so this is a practice color so you can really see how the airbrush is going on your skin if you've never worked with any sort of airbrush makeup before it's a great step-by-step -step how to clean your airbrush and then they also have eyebrow stencils that they sent me which is really great so you can hold these up to your eyebrow and like airbrush on your eyebrows there's also an instructional DVD so I would definitely recommend popping this in and giving it a watch if you've never really used airbrush makeup before so they sent this in this great bag that I can travel with it's really compact it's really portable the cool thing about the Janair airbrush makeup is that you can use it everywhere and the girl that I talked to and I sort of had a consultation with uses this makeup every single day she uses it all over her face for everything she does her foundation and her eyeshadow and her blush and she's really really good at it and just really precise so I'm working on getting more precise I found that the nozzle was a little bit different than the one I was used to using with my temp 2 and I love 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 my temp 2 airbrush when we're talking about traveling and taking an airbrush to a convention guys this is going to be my new go-to like traveling to a con with this size airbrush versus my temp 2 so much more doable the only other thing i was going to say about this airbrush you probably saw me doing this in the tutorial but when you're using it the recommended way to use it is actually with like little rocking motions like this so you'll be going in circular motions kind of like rocking your finger back and forth like this definitely takes a little bit of time to get used to but once you've got the hang of it it's so easy and it just comes a second nature so there you go those are my thoughts on the dinner airbrush makeup I really enjoy it I like the formula I'm really loving I really love the size of it I think it's really great and portable and easy to use it does this take some practice like I was saying especially if you've never used airbrush makeup before I have the benefit of having used airbrush makeup before in general but don't let the idea of airbrush makeup intimidate you it can be an everyday thing if you want it to be it's really easy once you get the hang of it it just takes practice um, I think the Denaire airbrush system is really affordable and a great place to start the basic kit starts out on their website at $99 and it just goes up from there adding more and more makeup as you go I will have a link down below for you guys to click and check out the Denaer airbrush makeup set and I'll link to this set of sort of essentially the set that they sent me yeah I, I don't really have anything else to say other than I really have enjoyed it thank you guys so much for watching this Denaer thank you so much for sending me this system and I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video. Bye! Outside in the winter time, surrounded by evergreens and pines, and having a fire pit. I like thought I would fire. share with you guys my Halloween TBR. Ooh.